Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again to another gigantic video. Today, we're going to be playing Vodin. Vodin, I think it's Vodin, but I could be wrong. He's an archer goat person who can heal, he can anti-heal, he can create duplicates. He's a really cool character. I'm going to get into him in a little second. I'm just going to queue up first. I've got a ton of boosters still. My god. So let's just queue straight up for Vodin. He's surprisingly marked as like quite straight up because he's he's like half defense, half offense, a ton of mobility, a ton of utility. When you look at other people like this, it's all over the place. I actually haven't tried Paco yet, but Charnock full offense. This guy's like pretty evened out on like everything. So Let's go ahead and queue. Okay, I can go back. So heroes, I'll go over his kit now if I can actually find him again. I played a couple games with him, got him like the equivalent of Mastery 2, I think. Haven't checked his skins, though, so let's do that first. Oh, the skins! Oh my god, the skins! I love the skins in this game. They're so damn cool. That's called Nor Northern Cheddar and Mountain Cheddar. Oh my god! I've not seen many people with skins in this game, but... Oh, I like the skin. So, skills! Fire an arrow, you can also charge it up. I also haven't, like, seen what his upgrade path is, so I'm gonna do that whilst we're in this video like I did last time with HK. We've got poison spores, create a cloud of poison, obviously. <laughs> that last six seconds. 50% reduced healing, stand in the cloud to fire poisonous arrows, so it's just normal arrows that deal poison tick damage. Green man. Not very descriptive. Create a decoy that runs and attacks. It's actually surprisingly, like, realistic. A lot of people attack it. Pretty much everybody attacks it. Gain stealth. Five seconds. You can't sprint, so you have to kind of, like, limp away. Decoy is destro destroyed upon leaving stealth. So you can't, like, spawn one in and then also keep firing to confuse people. It disappears as soon as you do anything. Uh, hidden spring. Okay, I didn't realize why it was called that, and then I realized that a spring is also, like, a thing of water. Creates pool that heals self and allies. Six seconds. Lasts quite a while. So it's the same as poison spores, just the other way around. He's like a, uh, 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 what's it called? He's like a, a forest magi magician. And he said mag magician, m m blah. I can't fucking English today. So, his ultimate, natural roots. Fire an hour that deals damage and immobilizes all foes in the area. Two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. It's really, really cool. It's a really, really strong ultimate because you're just locking people down. It also deals like a chunky amount of damage too. I also did not realize you could switch between characters like this. That's kind of cool because they all like drop in. I like that. Haven't tried Mozu yet. I've played every character other than Margrave. E Actually, wait, no. I, play I have played Amani. I, I haven't played Margrave, Paco, Zandora, uh, Mozu, Tito, Vadasi, and Zenobia and Aisling. So I've played like half of the characters. I, I want to play them all. I want to make a video on them all in their own right. But at the same time, I want to be decent with the characters that I'm making videos on. I don't want to just like jump in fresh as hell and completely suck. I want to actually do them justice. Let's get this train on the road. That's not the sentence. Let's get this... What's... What do you say? What What is it? Let's get this... Show on the road. That's what it is. I train? Why would you get a train on the road? Why did I think that was the saying? Come on, people. I wish I'd- Can I hit escape? No, I can't. Is there no way for me to, like, get off this screen? I have to just sit here and wait, like, 30 seconds like last time. Come on, gigantic. Come on, hit accept, dude. Whoever it is that hasn't hit it yet. You son of a bitch. Okay, it actually worked that time, hallelujah. I'd probably queue a lot faster if I just picked every character and then picked Voden once we were in a game, but I want to make sure I get him, obviously, because I'm making a video on him. So that's actually a really nice feature. I'm surprised more games don't allow, like, character-specific queuing, because it makes matchmaking a lot better, because then obviously a tank doesn't get put in a game with three other tanks. Let's go. Uh, do I have a skin? No, I don't have a skin for Voden. Okay. Ghost Reef. One of my favorite maps, actually. I like Ghost Reef. Every map I play, actually, I kind of like. I haven't played a single game yet. That I didn't enjoy. So we got a Beckett, we got a HK seemingly, uh, Lord Knossos, don't know how you say it, a Charnock. Mozu is pretty cool, although I haven't actually seen him. I've like I've played I have I've seen him in other games, but I haven't played him myself. And he's pretty damn cool. So we're set up. We've got Be Beckett, Mozu, Charnock, Lord Knossos, and Voden. Let's get it. I love the colours. Like the orange and that purplish sort of colour looks really cool. We're gonna get another Vodin, a Zandora, who I haven't really seen that much. A trip, another Beckett, and another Charnock. Okay, I think Beckett and Charnock are characters that you get when you first launch the game without like putting any money into it or anything or unlocking extra characters. So maybe that's why I see them more. I don't know. I don't know what the starting characters are because as soon as I played this game, I had the pack. So uh, let's go. What do I level? I'm not going to do the recommended stuff. I'm going to actually pick my own things. What are we going to go for? Uh, powered up shots fire a spread of five arrows. Okay, powered up shot deal twenty percent more. 
lasts longer. Throw a poison cloud that explodes. Teleport to your decoy's position. Nah. Uh, decoy knife fouls alongside you and deals extra damage. You no longer gain stealth. Okay, so that's like an aggressive way of using the decoy. Allies in the spring gain super jump. Create a second spring at the target's location. Okay, I kind of like that one. So it's like two things. Or move 50% faster. Gain 10% damage reduction from behind. You know what? We're going to go for the spread the pain because I've not tried this before. Oh, okay. So it's like, no, I thought it was like a, like five in like a sort of circle area, but it's not. It's five as in like a, like a, a bar. I don't know how to explain it. You can see what I mean though. Didn't mean to do that, meant to do the other one. It's my first time playing him properly in a little while. Uh, she's dead. There's the other person just gone. I like this. It makes it a lot easier to hit stuff. Although, to be honest, considering I know what I'm doing, it's probably the wrong one to get. This is clearly a decoy, right? Yeah. I think if you were really, really new and you wanted to give Voden a go, this would probably make it a lot easier considering, you know, it'd be much easier to hit everything. It's pretty hard to miss. Oh, there's actually something here. I went to go and freaking spawn something in, but there's already one there. I probably could have told by just looking at the fucking map, but oh well. Oh, we're going for this? We are. Yeah, I feel like I... Oh, man, I don't like this. I, I kind of wish I went for the other one. This is like a close-ranged way of playing Voden, which feels kind of wrong. Like, I deal more damage up close if I hit all the little things. I don't like it, though. It's probably better actually going against, like, a trip. What the fuck happened? Oh, she's dead. I think my internet lagged then. Oh, shit. Nearly dead. What killed me? Charnock? Yeah, Charnock killed me. Okay, we've got two more skill things. I'm not paying enough attention to this. Ah! Powered up shots pierce through them at close range. Powered up shots inflict a slow and give extra focus. Uh Okay. I, I don't know what to go for. I kind of want to go through pier for piercing shots. There we go. And let's make it so our decoy fights us alongside us. This is a really bad loadout. I kind of wish I didn't go for this. I do not like the spread arrows. Like, they'd be really good if I was new and really inaccurate, but I know what I'm doing, so it doesn't really make sense for me to go for it. Is there an enemy here? Oh, hello. You are, like, in, like, way out of spot here. What are you doing? What are you doing? I say my accuracy's great, and then I... I say my accuracy's great, and then I miss, like, a ton of shots, of course. I've got my ultimate now as well. I've got a dinghy of focus. Oh, shit, this is gone. Do we kill it? Okay. Guardian wounded. We're ruining them right now. Uh, to be honest, that's not really me. It's more my team. Yeah, if you hit, like, all of your shots with this, it deals so much damage. There we go. Yeah, it deals a lot of damage if you actually, like, hit them all on. I'm not going to fight you this time. I'm going to chuck a decoy. Go. Oh, it fights alongside me, doesn't it, this time? Let's go. Wait, does he think that's me? So we're, we're like full aggressive Voden right now. Sup, enemy Voden? Oh, no. I'm also not using my poison cloud for poisonous shots at all, which is terrible of me. Man, I'm playing so badly right now. Uh, decoy will now also fire homing poison clouds at enemies. Decoy will now create freaking healing. Let's go full fucking offensive. Sure. Let's not use our healing shit at all, and let's just go full damage Voden. Full close range damage Voden also. Let me keep that like clear. Rip. That freaking Veneer? Veneer just got ruined. We're shredding them right now, and it's not really because of me. Saying that though, I have got two kills. Somehow. I feel like I've been doing terribly, to be honest. So I need to just use my abilities properly. Sup, dude. Come on. Two on one. This is a little bit unfair. Fuck it, though. I should be putting this down so I get the poison shots. I'm playing terribly. I feel bad, to be honest. Oh, he's dead. He's got to die, right? He's got to be dead. He's dead. Okay, time to run, because I'm nearly dead. Shit. We're winning this pretty heavily, but I'm super nervous that I'm doing badly. Uh, what are we upgrading now? Poison or heal? Oh, we got something here. One poison duration on, on apply. Nearby allies, get, nearby allies gain 50% damage. 1% stealth. That doesn't really apply. 35% uh, healing on start. All enemies are in your springs. If other enemies are in your spring, Okay. So we're actually going to go... I'm going to go for the top one, which is like the offensive one. And then I'm going to go for... Move 10% faster and stamina drains 25% slower. No. We're going to go for... Throw a poison cloud that explodes on impact. Sure. So now... Oh, okay, so now we don't really get the poison arrows, but it's more like throwing an explosive, like, poison bomb. This is such a weird way to play Voden. I don't know if I like this. I feel so like... Wait, am I firing one single shot now? No, I thought I was. This is, like, the wrong way to play Voden. I would not recommend this. It's like, it's it's kind of working, but at the same time, I feel bad. I feel like I'm playing wrong. Enemy Voden, please. I can't get poisonous shots now, which suck. Let's run. Plop our heels down. She heals pretty heavily, by the way. It's quite a nice heal. 45 a tick. It's like standing near a guardian. I have got my ultimate, which I haven't showed you either. 
At close range, you'll deal so much more, but at a distance, you deal like nothing. Which feels weird, because Voden used usually played it like a distance. Poison Spore. Holy shit, that deals a lot of damage. Okay, maybe it isn't a bad idea that I went for that. It feels like it actually does something. She's dead. She's very dead. She's very dead indeed. Oh wait, was that a decoy? No, she did die. I just didn't get any XP for some reason. Ah! Feels so buggy. It feels like sometimes I'm only shooting one arrow. Let's go heal up. It's for a second. Come on, take your time, dude. Let's go. Back out we go. Right now we're shredding them. Decoy. Poison thing. Come on, Becky. You should be dead. She's dead. No! Where's she gone? Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. You're on, like, no health. Becky, don't bullshit me with that. Come on, where you gone? Where's she at? There you go. She's dead now. There we go. Fucking take that damage right to the face. Uh, let's upgrade our poison again. Direct hits in deal increased damage inflict heavy poison. Poison cloud has homing. Let's go for the extra freaking poison. This is such a weird way to play Voden. Or maybe it's normal and I'm just being an idiot. Boom. Oh my god. The poison thing inflicts heavy poison now as well. She's gone. It fell off the damn map. Can we kill this thing? Is it worth trying to kill this thing? I'm actually doing quite a lot of damage to it. When I fully charge that, it deals like a good 250. Which is pretty much what normal stuff does. With a normal shot. Poison cloud. Heavy poison. Holy shit. Okay, it's gone. I kind of like this. I feel like my team's carrying me a little bit, but this isn't too bad. Decoy, go over there. Let's go. There's enemies over here. I can see them on the map. Other oh, Voden. What's up, dude? Oh, you are so dead. Get fucked. This actually works. You know, I take that back. This kind of works. In a weird way, it kind of works. Although my shots are definitely bugging sometimes. Oh, no. We need to run. I'm taking heavy hits here. Decoy, go that way. Well, now, both, now both of our decoy... Now we're both fighting at the same time, which is kind of cool. Oh, my lord. Let's kill him. There we go. I'm surprisingly not sucking. 250. There we go. Wounded. I'm surprisingly doing well with this. I thought this was going to absolutely suck when I first, like, picked the one that I went with. Poison. Oh, shit. There's a trip here, too. Come on. Why was there a trip all the way back there? No idea. So what are we going for? Um, allies in the spring jump, I guess. On use, create a second spring at target's location. Springs heal for 50% more. That one seems like the better one, but I don't know what the super jump's like. I've never had the super jump one, so I'm not sure. Okay. I, I really kind of wish I didn't go for that one. I kind of wish I went for the, uh, the opposite one and not spread the pain. No, it's probably a bad decision. Although, at the same time, in close range fights, it's working out much better for us. And even at a distance, it kind of is okay. It's much better for hitting multiple people. And if you're new, you don't have to be as accurate, but... Come on. Sometimes I feel like it's not actually shooting them. Like, all five? What the fuck? I'm lagging so hard. Decoy, go over there. Oh, shit. Yo, what's up? She's fighting the wrong one. <laughs> Come on, you're dead! You're dead! I feel like half of my shots aren't even firing, which I swear is because of my internet connection. Uh, healing for the springs lasts for an extra second. Cleanses debuff. Uh, heals for an extra second, sure. So now I can throw a heal as well, as craft one where I am. Alright. Not terrible. I feel like this is still better than the default leveling thing, which is saying something, to be honest. Wait. Trip? Yo. Trip. Ah! Where's she gone? Oh my god, don't, don't be that guy, don't be that guy. Decoy, go. Heals, everywhere. Okay, she's going for me, she knows which one's me. Poison. Yeah, you ain't fighting me with my, my massive Cyclops, dude, that's for sure. I was dying to tick damage. Run! I'm so fucking nearly dead. I've got, I've had like three focus on my ultimate for fucking ever. Which I think just increases the ult, the, the, the... I think the actual focus only increases the duration of the route, but I could be wrong. That's why that's why it said like two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. I think that's the only thing the focus does. It might increase damage too, though, and I might be unaware of that. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Decoy. Wait, oh, you can't throw a decoy when you jump? That makes sense. Okay, we're going to kill her. We're going to try to at least. Wait, why is she sprinting? I've never seen a trip do that before. That's weird. Was that even a trip? I can't tell. It might have been this person. Run! Ah! Heals! Bombs! Okay. Spawn the wall, Cyclops man, please! Wait, where's the wall? Was, wasn't there a wall there a second ago? Let's get back into it. Come on, Voden. I need to use my ultimate. 
Wounded? Fuck. Although that guy's still a heart under us, so it's fine. Poison bomb. I kind of wish I went for the homing one. <laughs> Decoy. That's clearly a fake one there. Where's that other person gone? Beckett. Yo. What's up, Beckett? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna get you. Like, right now, at this distance, I'm dealing, like, fucking nothing. Wait, what are the arrows doing? They're, like, permanently spinning. That's weird. Can I stack them there? They're, like, permanently spinning there. That's really weird. Poison. Holy shit. Okay, so the poison definitely deals damage. The poison is, like, the only good upgrade I think I've gone with. The rest kind of suck. Ultimate. Fuck it. There we go. They're all stuck. Team, finish them. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted to do ages ago and didn't really work. I think I helped with all of that. <laughs> I think I did. Easy Strider is a recommended upgrade. That one. Uh, Yeah, let's go for move faster. I think that's a good decision. Heals. There's heals for you, dude. I kind of put them a little bit too close together. Actually, wait, did that even... I, think that, I don't think that went off. That was bugged. I tried to bomb that trip. Didn't work. Here we go. Killer. Eh, I got that kill. Wasn't really mine, but I got it anyway. Oh, we're attacking. Shit, I didn't even realize. In white, well, in 15 seconds, not right now. Bomb. I don't think you can hurt yourself with that either, which is nice. She's just swinging like a madman. From my experience with this character, she's not very good. I can say that much. Yeah, she doesn't seem that great. Although she did nearly kill me there. And if he wasn't there, she probably would have actually successfully. Bomb. She's gone. Get fucked, Beckett. I think this is game, so I'm going to ult. Sure. That was kind of a confusing match, but we won. And I think I showed you Vodin successfully well. I did okay with him. I kind of wish I went for the other upgrades. Like, not the one that spread my arrows. I felt like kind of sucked. Um, that was my first time trying that. Every time before that, I use the recommended upgrade, and it doesn't pick that one. I can see why. Most healing, that's not that good, though. Efficiency is nearly the highest in the game, though, so I'll take that. Uh, fortune cards, accolades. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, it's that. I always forget that it's down there. Seven kills, four deaths. Kind of crappy. Their vote went five to three, so I did better than their vote, and I actually did, like, pretty decent in that game in comparison. A pretty average match, but we won. Weird builds. Wouldn't recommend it. Would recommend going for the other... The other, the other arrow upgrade. But other than that, it worked pretty well. I think I would have done a lot better if I didn't go for it, though. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Let me know who you want to see me play next. And as always, stay frosty.